Are you curious about what the future of transportation looks like? Do you want to know what kind of electric vehicles are coming soon to the market? Do you want to learn about their features, prices and availability? If you answered yes to any of these questions, then this video is for you. In this video, we will explore some of the most anticipated EVs that are coming soon. Tesla is renowned for producing innovative and disruptive products, and the Cybertruck is no exception. This is a pickup truck with a sharp and angular design, a stainless steel body and a glass roof that looks like it was taken straight out of a sci-fi movie. The Cybertruck is set to launch in late 2024 with three variants, namely single motor, dual motor and tri-motor. It promises to deliver impressive performance and features such as a range of 250 to 500 miles depending on the variant, a towing capacity of 7,500 to 14,000 pounds, depending on the variant, a payload capacity of 3,500 pounds is 0 to 60 miles per hour time of 6.5 to 2.9 seconds, depending on the variant, and a top speed of 110 to 130 depending on the variant. Other features included in 17 touchscreen display, a self-leveling suspension, and a built-in ramp for loading cargo. Additionally, it comes with an optional solar roof that can add 15 miles of range per day and an optional Cyberquad, an electric ATV that can fit in the bed of the truck. The Cybertruck is priced at $39,900 to $69,900, depending on the variant, and requires a $100 refundable deposit to reserve. Ford is one of the oldest and most iconic car brands in the world, and the Mustang is one of the most popular models. The Mustang Mach-E is Ford's first all-electric SUV, and the design and spirit of the Mustang inspire it. The Mustang Mach-E is already available in some markets, and it will be fully launched in 2024 with four variants. Select, Premium, California Route 1, and GT. The Mustang Mach-E offers a range of features and options, such as a range of 230 to 300 miles, depending on the variant and battery size. It also boasts a 0 to 60 miles per hour time of 5.8 to 3.5 seconds depending on the variant and drive mode. Other features include a 15.5 inch touchscreen display with SYNC 4A system, a panoramic fixed glass roof, a hands-free driving system with Ford, Copilot 360, a front trunk with 4.8 cubic feet of space, and an optional all-wheel drive system. The Mustang Mach-E is priced at $42,895 to $60,500, depending on the variant, and qualifies for a $7,500 federal tax credit in the US. The Mustang Mach-E is expected to compete with other electric SUVs such as the Tesla Model Y, the Volkswagen ID4, and the Hyundai Ioniq 5. The Hyundai is one of the leading car manufacturers in the world, and the Ioniq 5 is the first model in its new Ioniq sub-brand dedicated to EVs. The Ioniq 5 is a hatchback that draws inspiration from the Hyundai Pony, the company's first car with a retro and minimalist design. The Ioniq 5 is already available in some markets, and it will be fully launched in 2024 with two variants, standard range and long range. The Ionic 5 offers a variety of features and options, such as the range of 238 to 300 miles, depending on the variant and battery size, and a 0 to 60 miles per hour time of 8.5 to 5 seconds, depending on the variant and drive mode. It also has a top speed of 115 miles per hour. Other features include a 12.3-inch touchscreen display with Blue Link system, a solar roof that can add up to 1,200 miles of range per year, a vehicle-to-load system that can power other devices, a reclining seat with a footrest, and an optional all-wheel drive system. The Ionic 5 is priced at $37,500 to $54,000 depending on the variant, and qualifies for a $7,500 federal tax credit in the US. The Rivian is a new EV company with investors such as Amazon and Ford. Their flagship product, the Rivian R1T, is a pickup truck designed for adventure and exploration. The R1T will launch in mid-2024 with three variants, Launch Edition, Adventure Package, and Exploration Package. The Rivian R1T is a high-performance electric pickup truck with an impressive range of 300 to 400 miles. 11,000 pounds towing capacity and a payload capacity of 1,760 pounds. It has a quad motor system, torque vectoring, and off road capabilities. The vehicle also comes with a 15.6 inch touchscreen display, a gear tunnel with 11.6 cubic feet of storage space, and an optional camp kitchen and rooftop tent that can fit two people. The Rivian R1T will be priced at $67,500 and $75,000, depending on the variant, and qualifies for a $7,000. 500 federal tax credit in the US. It will compete with the other electric pickups such as the Tesla Cybertruck, Ford F-150 Lightning, and GMC Hummer EV. 
Volkswagen's ID.4 is the company's first global AV, designed for families and everyday use. The compact SUV is already available in some markets and will launch fully in 2024 with two variants, Pro and Pro S. The ID.4 has a range of 250 to 260 miles, a 0 to 60 miles per hour time of 7.6 to 5.8 seconds, top speed of 99 to 112 miles per hour. It features a 10 to 12 inch touchscreen display, panoramic fixed glass roof, travel assist system, front trunk with 2.8 cubic feet of space and optional all wheel drive. The price ranges from $39,995 to $44,495 and qualifies for $7,500 federal tax credit in the US. GMC's Hummer EV is their first electric vehicle and a revival of the Ionic Hummer brand. The super truck is designed for extreme performance and off-road capabilities, and it will launch in late 2024. The Hummer EV offers unique and advanced features like a range of 250 to 350 miles, a 0 to 60 miles per hour time of 3 seconds, a top speed of 120 miles per hour, and a power output of 625 to 1000 horsepower. It also has a crab walk mode, extract mode, and ultra vision system with 18 cameras. The Hummer EV will be priced at $79,995 to $112,595 and qualifies for a $7,500 federal tax credit in the US. It will compete with other electric super trucks such as the Tesla Cybertruck, Rivian R1T and Bollinger B2. The Bollinger is another new entrant in the EV market, founded by a former toy designer. The Bollinger B2 is the company's second product, a pickup truck that is based on the Bollinger B1, an electric SUV. The Bollinger B2 is a boxy and rugged truck that is designed for utility and durability. The Bollinger B2 is expected to launch in late 2024 with one variant, base. The Bollinger B2 EV offers practical features such as a 200-mile range, 7,500-pound towing capacity, 5,000-pound payload capacity, and a 0 to 60 miles per hour time of 4.5 seconds. It has a power output of 614 horsepower, a top speed of 100 miles per hour, and a dual motor system with all-wheel drive and locking differentials. The vehicle is priced at $125,000 and does not qualify for federal tax in the US. The Bollinger B2 is expected to compete with other electric pickups, such as the Tesla Cybertruck, the Rivian R1T, and the GMC Hummer EV. Mercedes-Benz is one of the most prestigious and luxurious car brands in the world, and the EQS is the company's first electric vehicle, part of the EQ series. The EQS is a full-size sedan that is based on the S-Class, the company's flagship model. The EQS is a sleek and elegant car that is designed for comfort and sophistication. The EQS is already available in some markets and it will be fully launched in 2024 with two variants, EQS 450 Plus and EQS 580 for Matic. The EQS is an advanced electric vehicle that offers a range of 350 to 478 miles, a 0 to 60 miles per hour time of 6.2 to 4.1 seconds, and a top speed of 130 to 155 miles per hour. It has a power output of 329 to 516 horsepower and features a 56-inch curved glass display, Burmester 3D surround sound system, HEPA air filter, and optional all-wheel drive. The EQS is priced at $102,310 to $119,110 and qualifies for a $7,500 federal tax credit in the US. The EQS is expected to compete with other luxury EVs, such as Tesla Model S, the Lucid Air, and the Porsche Taycan. These are just some of the most anticipated EVs that are coming soon, but there are many more in the pipeline. From established brands and new entrants alike, EVs are better not only for the environment but also for the consumers, as they offer more choices, features and benefits than conventional cars. And that's it for this video, we hope you enjoyed watching it and learned something new. If you did, please give the video a thumbs up and share it with your friends.